okay so as you know every season I prepare my bed my raised bed with all the necessary nutrients that the soil needs in order for the plant to do well in it you know I enrich it with azomite um, potassium or potash phosphorus and nitrogen and several other elements to enrich the soil now that is the condition of this soil right now so I really don't have to do much of anything in here uh, besides pour when I dig the hole in here to plant my tomato I probably will add a little more about a teaspoon of uh, bone meal so let me show you several ways I could plant a leggy tomato tomato now this tomato is about a little over a foot long you know it's about 12 in, uh, 12 13 14 inches long and the way to plant that there are several ways I could plant this I could plant this in that manner horizontally just allowing this part of the tomato to stick out of the plant I mean the soil but this is what I chose to do and I'll tell you the reason why I will dig this as deep as I can let me get a better hold on please so there I dug a hole as deep as I can actually there goes the plant it can go that deep leaving about probably about four five inches uh, of the top of the tomato and I could plant it very deep like that okay so rather than planting it horizontally and this part of the tomatoes here that is buried underground if I bury up to here this will grow root so I could plant it horizontally like that but I chose to do it in this position simply because as this is an old uh, soil under this surface of the raised bed there are a lot of nutrient in there that's, that has already broken down and so to really take advantage of those good nutrients that this plant needs I prepare to plant it in a vertical position and this will grow roots all the way from here going all the way down and I will have this but there's another step still that I chose to uh, apply into this transplanting okay let me show you what I what I did now let me add a little bit of uh, this is bone meal this is probably about uh, a little over a teaspoon I will add that and then this tomato let's take this out and as you could see it's beautiful it's not root bound it's just perfect and I plant it in that position then I'll cover it actually I will take this first two leaf I don't want this bird underground and decaying in there requiring some of the uh, fertilizer mainly the nitrogen to break it down so now I have it in that position, right? And remember, I have prepared a mixture of seaweed extract and fish, liquid fish extract. 
I'm going to water it as uh, saturate the soil and that's good because I'm still going to water that as soon as I completely completely uh, cover it and completely planted it okay so right now that's how this uh that's how my tomato looks like right now that would be finished and you'd say perfect that should that should do very well now I'm sure it will as you could see the rest of them are around it but um this is what I did by uh, cutting the very tip of this right here I would leave two of the, uh, the leaves the bottom leaves that's one two set of leaves and the very top one I would leave about half an inch of that stem there and I cut the very top of it. This is my way of preventing the plant from working so hard to keeping everything alive, okay? I want the root to concentrate all the nutrient right into this main, main stem right here. I want this stem to grow strong and sturdy and I'm going to show you what will happen to these two uh, set of leaves. Okay, this plant is a week old. Since I transplanted this and I cut the very top leaves, uh, that was a week ago. And this is what I expect for the one that I just planted and showed you how I did it. This is what I expect it to do. As you can see, I have a new growth. And this would have been considered as a sucker had I allowed this to grow on its own normal pattern. But what I did was, uh, since it came out leggy, eventually my, my seedlings became leggy, I planted this as deep as I can, probably from six to eight inches deep in the ground. And this is the result of that. After a week, I have a new branch coming up right here. And right on the very top, which, where I cut the stem fr uh, from, right here, I have another branch coming out. So this will branch out this way and the top... I'm sorry, I forgot to focus the camera so this will branch out this way and the top will obviously branch out the opposite way so that's what I did and since my greenhouse is very very sunny right now I have to create some kind of shade in order to be able to focus my camera and uh, allow for a better uh, there you go better shot of the tomato plant this one as you could see as well there's a new growth uh, coming out right there I'm really sweating right now it's so hot in here it's above 100 degree and uh, here goes a new shoot and this this part of the tomato plant as well and you can see where I cut it. So new shoot or a new branch that's gonna come out from there and a new shoot down here as well. Okay. Now, take a look at this. This is the same um, tomato plant that I showed you last week. 
this is the second week since I planted this tomato and because it was so leggy I decided to plant it very deep about six to eight inches deep and cut the top off and last week I showed you how this new shoots are coming out and as you can see they're doing very well right now lots of good new good uh, stems that's one two and three and here is the old stem where I where I cut the top off and the same goes with the rest of them is the stem that I cut right there and there's the new growth so in two weeks after pruning the very top of the tomato you could expect this much of new growth these two here I'm not getting a good shot of it okay that's one two new growth two new growth which would have been the sucker had I let it grow on its own naturally but since they were very leggy I decided to top them off and just allow the sucker to grow and it will be a much stronger new growth and stems so after topping them off in two weeks you could see how they all have new stems or new growth here goes another one this is where I cut the top off here's the new growth as well as this which is much lower closer to the to the soil and here is another thing that I noticed um, okay this is where I cut it that's the new shoot or the new stem right there new stem this is where I cut it new stem now this is one another thing that I do at this stage of tomato growth still quite early in the season and I really want the plant to uh, concentrate its energy into growing strong and healthy stems and foliage so this here will be buds of tomato flower I do not want the tomato to uh, spend its energy trying to nourish and um, grow this flower here which would have been tomato fruit so I am going to pinch that off and now the plant will spend its energy growing better greener foliage and stronger stems I will eventually be pruning some of the or pinching off some of the suckers but for now I'm going to allow it to grow so that the tomato plant could develop its strength and be a little more vigorous before I start uh, cutting some of the sucker up like this one I will be pinching that off as well as this and probably allow this one here so this is how it looks right now after two weeks or within two weeks of planting 
and pruning the top of the tomatoes. Okay, these are beef steak tomatoes that I have here in this bed. But here's another bed where I have more of my tomatoes. There are several varieties in this one because I want to see how it's going to work for me if I were to put several type of tomatoes in one bed. This is um, brandy wine tomato and right along there those are Cherokee purple there's only one brandy wine tomato in this bed and that's that and Cherokee purple and okay here's another one this is going to be a cherry tomato I think a gardener's delight right here and this one also is starting to here you go it's out of focus develop some buds in which I will pinch off because I really want it to spend its energy developing more foliage and oops height so that uh, this plant can support all the fruit that it's going to bear so it needs to grow more and concentrate a lot of its energy into growing stockier stronger and more foliage to nourish the fruit that it's going to bear so every tomatoes that wants to grow buds like this one here another one with buds I'll just go ahead and pinch that off and give it more chance to grow and concentrate its energy into the into a stronger stem and more foliage <laughs> 